Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I will be talking about the new Omni unit, the new fire Omni unit, which is Rengaku. This one's a Japanese oriented designed unit and uh, to be honest, he really looks very cool for the design. However, I really like the seven stars looks better since he looked like Benkyo, uh, Benke from the Yoshitsune Anga series. So yeah, I kind of like his seven stars better. And for now, uh, this is the unit. This is the Omni version of him. And what I got here is Breaker, but type does not really matter actually. This is the imp that he can take. So pretty much big on the attack. And for the rest of it, are not really that high. And now let's talk about his leader skill. Oh, before we go into that, his normal attack is at 11 hits, which will produce 4 BC per hit. So it's going to be 44 BC. Now, leader skill. All right. Hang on. Okay. This will be the leader skill, and it will slightly boost attack defense recovery by 30% when we, you have over 50% or more on your BB gauge. But the all status is only 40%, which is not really that bad. It's still good. Uh, and the hugely boost BB gauge each turn is, hang on, 6 PC. So, okay, not so bad. 6 PC is pretty nice. This guy, this leader skill actually reminds me of Randolph, the limited global exclusive unit. But I think Randolph's uh, leader skill is much, much better than this one. So, yeah. Just so so. But if you don't have add other units that can fill your BB gauge or you need the 40% boost to all status, he's still pretty okay to use. Uh, now, extra skill. 50% uh, boost to spark damage. This will only be for himself. And damage taken will boost BB gauge. Uh, the boost BB gauge here will be 2 to 3 BC per hit. So, it's pretty standard. So, um, extra skill, it's just okay. I'd, I'd rate it pretty much. Just in the middle. Okay, now BB. Uh, wait a minute. Alright, so this will be the BB, 20 hit AoE, enormously boost BB gauge, this one will boost your BB gauge by 10 BC, and consider considerably boost BC and hard crystal drop rates for 3 turns, this boost is at 35% which is pretty nice, and hugely boost BC efficacy, this one's at 50% which is really really huge and BB gauge for 3 turns. The BB boost on each turn is 7 BC per turn. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So, this BB here is, I think, it's pretty useful, especially if you have uh, difficulties on filling up your BB gauge and you need that BC and Heart Crystal drop buff. And also the BB fill each turn. Uh, the BB modifier is at 3 170% which is standard the BC cost is at 26 BC also pretty standard and this BB will produce 20 BC if you use it. so not bad not bad now let's move along to his super break burst this one's pretty weird since his BB is 20 hits now on his super break burst he only has two hits Luckily, it's still an AOE, so I still kind of like it. And two hits are supposedly to be much easier to spark. So, okay, two hits. And spark damage enormously boosts own, own BB gauge for one turn. The boost here, if you spark, will be 10 BC, which is really huge, I think. And enormously boosts BB gauge. It's stay the same rate as his BB at 10 BC and considerably boost BC and Heart Crystal drop rates for 3 turns. It's also, it also has the same rate with this BB which is at 35% buff. Well, it's still okay. Uh, and the last part here is pretty cool I think. So, you will have an attack boost relative to defense for 3 turns. This 
conversion rate from defense will be at 70%, which is really, really high. So I kind of like his super brave verse here. Uh, not to forget, he also will bring a spark critical buff for 3 turns. Uh, this one is at which has a proc chance of 30% to deal 50% more spark damage. So yeah, pretty okay I guess. He's not bad but usable but I don't think he is a game changer. Now let's take a look at his ultimate brave burst. Uh, also a 2 combo fire massive attack on all foes. Also inflicts enormous spark vulnerability for 3 turns. Fills BB gauge to max. Enormously boosts BB gauge for 3 turns and enormously boosts critical damage for 3 turns. Alright, uh, the enormous BB gauge is at 50 PC. It's really huge. And Critical damage here, I think it's about 300%, uh, so yeah, pretty okay as well. Uh, the Spark Vulnerability is at 150%, okay, I think these are pretty standard. So the whole package that he has is not really that game changing, uh, but he is usable for everything. So yeah, pretty standard, not, not really a jawbreaker, and... Yeah, just a so-so unit, so I think it's kind of fine if you guys don't have him. But if you guys really are a collect a collector, yeah, and if you like his design as well, then go ahead and summon for him. He's pretty good. Okay, now enhancements. I'll just take I'll just show you guys the enhancements here really quick. And it's it's actually a pretty straightforward one. So yeah, 50% boost to attack, 50% boost to defense, 70% boost to spark damage for himself, and you can enhance this to 100%. Boost critical hit damage, this one is at 50%, which is the standard ones for enhancement. And the specials, enhances the leader skill to 50%, so this one's pretty okay if you plan to use this guy for leader. Uh, enhances BB gauge boost effect added to BB and SBB. Uh, the standard one is at 10 BC, and if you take this one, it will add two more to dose effect. Uh, don't really think this one's really that good, and it costs a lot at 40 SP. The last one here is pretty interesting. Uh, it will add your OD gauge by 8%, and this is the first one on an Omni unit, I think. Okay, now let's take a look at his builds, and I can only think about two builds for this guy. So the first one here is build number one, which is the Nuker build. So these are the points that you will spend to make him a Nuker. Uh, the first one you will take is the Spark Damage, uh, the 70% boost. And the, the next then is you got a two choice of enhancement to take. So if you think that 70% spark damage is not enough, you can boost it to 100%. And if you like critical hit damage, um, you can either take the 10 skill points on the boost critical damage. And that is already 40 SP. And the last one, I will take the slight OD gauge boost to BB SBB. So this will add 8% to your OD. Well, I know uh, the 50% boost to attack is huge, and also 50% boost to defense is huge as well. But for raids, I think I will use this guy only for raids. And I think that defense and attack can be... I can use other units buff to get the same effect. Well, so I don't think that's really necessary. And critical damage is not really that good for raid so yeah i would really prefer the spike damage more and okay now build number two and this build is if you want a nuker unit and you don't really need that od fill and you plan to use this guy for a lead so this is what you will take 20 sp the attack boost another 20 sp for the defense boost the next point you will spend on is 30 SP, which will boost your 
spark damage to 70% and another 10 on this 100% spark damage and you will only have 20 kill points left so what you will take is the boost critical hit damage as well and the last one you will take is the enhanced leader skill and that's it that's it you got all the benefits minus the OD fill if you don't really feel that the OD fill is going to be useful at all so yeah those are the only two builds that I can think of so okay now let's take our mine enhancement so this is what I will take for this guy so I just plan to use this guy for raids so I will take the spark damage 70% one and I will also enhance this to 100% taking taking a bit long on this one it always is like this I'm not really sure if it's the server or my internet and all right so I only have 60 points left I will take this one I I wanted to try the OD fill okay that's 100 points spent already and there are no changes in the status and everything and okay since I wanted to review this unit for this video I will try this guy for raids which which is what I plan on using him for so okay let's build our squad on the raids so alright guys I just made the squad for my raid battle here and uh, this is my squad so I will be using an arc lead here so I'll show you guys really quick so this is my arc enhancements all gifts and everything my Juno Sito all gifts and SBB enhancements I'll be bringing Phallus here as well and I'll show you guys the leader skill, L gifts and enhancements okay next one is my Sirius, my Lord Sirius I still have not got the anima version for this guy yet I actually wanted to summon for him on the last raid up but I forgot so yeah I will try to summon him on the next time now this one's my Rengaku so I equipped him with Bayork's armor and Sacred Axe for more nuke. Okay. No L gives for him yet. So I just wanted to test him out plainly. If he turns out to be good, I will put an L gift on him. So the enhancements, I just showed you guys what I took and that's it. Okay, now since we have Bayork here, let's do just that. Okay, I think I will bring this one, Jackie. Okay. okay, let's mobilize. Okay, hopefully this guy will be good for a new game. We'll we shall see. Alright, I just filled my BB gauge here and I will not use anything uh, like defense crystal or attack crystals just to see how this guy will do okay now here's the boss I think I will just cast this guy last so let me change everything here Okay, I think that's correct. And let's do this! Auto mode! Okay, show me your damage, uh, Rengaku.
Okay, I think he just sparked once, not twice. But I think I'll try to change the settings again. So this time I'll put my fellas on the last sequence. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, I can clearly see his damage going on, but the sparks only once. That's not good. And let's try to do this with his BP now, since I wanted to try the BC efficacy. Okay, it looks better with the BB since the BB is 20 hits. However, I wanted to try the SBB since it's a new thing. Well, sadly, he just got drained, so I'll have to wait for the next turn. Okay, we have our overdrive pool already, so I'm gonna use it. And I will also try his UBB for this video. Let's stop this. Yep, he has huge damage. I kinda like this guy. Pretty okay. Let's check if we got some people in the room. No, we don't have anyone else entering this raid. Okay, reflective buddy. I don't give a damn. Let's just keep going on. Okay, now let's test out his UBB. It will fill everybody's BB gauge to full, I'm pretty sure, and himself as well. Okay, now let's check out the damage after this. We got all buffs in. Mm, it's not really that good. BSB, UBB, I mean. And it kinda took me longer to kill this boss with this guy, actually. But the thing I like here is I can re really see clearly that the overdrive bar is filling up much faster than usual. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot.
Okay, I might get my overdrive part back in two turns after this. And see, we'll fill it up instantly. Just like this. Wow. Nice. Or I might even get it now. If I get it now, I'll use it again. Yep, I got it now. I actually got it now. Let's use it again. Okay, this guy got me. Didn't expect that. But oh well. Let's enter again and kill this guy. For sure. Haven't been inside this Bayard raid for a long time. I really forgot what he does. Okay, let's just kill this guy and wrap this show up. For now. Alright, he's dead. And I don't really care if I got the <coughs> rare drop item or not. So yeah, I'll end it at this point. So yeah, I think as a unit, uh, Rengaku here is pretty okay. He's not a game changer. Uh, he does not bring anything much to the meta. Uh, he's not even good for arenas, I guess, as well. And for trials and everything he's usable for sure he is usable and if you really need that OD fill on a Omni unit this is the first one that is available but it's only available through enhancements so it's not really a natural thing as of this unit if this unit is a must-have I, I would say no but if you guys are a collector and you like to have all the units then go ahead and summon for him he's, he's pretty fine he's okay he's not bad he's a good unit but not really something that you must have so that's all I there is I think if I have to put an L gift on him I would only put a attack and HP boost L gift I will not put a 20% to everything on this unit so yeah that's it I just rate this guy for about what 7 out of 10 probably that high so yeah there you go I hope you guys enjoyed the show and if you like this video go ahead and press that like button and if you guys want to share this with your friends go ahead and do that and if you're new to my channel this is a really good time to subscribe just press that fun button right over there and join the fun train and don't forget to leave a comment guys so that's it for now thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time bye bye Ciao.